Well, welcome back to the periodic table of history. We're going to ask another question. Who was Enos and place him in history? He's generation three with Adam being generation one. And we're going to look at this area right in here in the top. So here we have 6,000 years of history on the left. And then the equator going left to right. I have the southern hemisphere down here and the northern hemisphere up here. We'll just zoom in to Germany, let's say, today. And that'll give us a little bit of perspective. 1815 to 1835, Francis I, German Confederation. Okay, so that gives us the scope of what we're looking at. And then we're going to look at Israel, which is over here in blue. So, so here is relatively modern history. But we can always go back to 1000. And then the time of Jesus. And here is the time of the flood. We zoom into this area because Enos is right here. You can see his contemporaries. Uh, that would be Adam, Cain, Abel, his father Seth. The genealogy of Enos is in Genesis chapter 5. It's from the Masoretic text and it's where we get the lifespan and uh, his placement in time from. Uh, First Chronicles 1 calls Enos Enosh, so the spelling is E-N-O-S in Genesis, but it's E-N-O-S-H in First Chronicles. So after the Cain and Abel disaster, we read in Genesis 4, 25 and 26, And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son, and called his name Seth. For God said she, hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. And Seth, to him also, there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. Now, Dr. Luke authenticates Jesus using the genealogy in Luke chapter 3. And then if we go outside of Genesis, we can go to the Ethiopian book called the Book of of Jubilees, and it states the name of Enos's sister and wife, and it says that her name is Noam. So suffice it to say, we have enough information to place Enos in time. We can change his color to uh, yellow here, because that brightens it up, and we can see uh, the different people that were impacted by his life. He was still alive when we come down here and see Noah. So Noah could still ask Enos questions about Seth and of Adam. Uh, that puts history into perspective quite amazingly. So suffice it to say we have enough information to place Enos in time, and I hope this video allows the viewer to understand the genealogy of Genesis and be able to tangibly reference it with regard to modern history. So I want to thank you for watching, and it's always free to subscribe, share, thumbs up, and comment. And lastly, I want you to have a great week, and I'll see you in the next video.